The bubble is born inside of the bottle. Uh, number one reserve. Quite often it is mistaken for champagne. This is a very long held family history. Amy and it's another episode of Winetopia Lockdown. I have the great pleasure of being joined today by Theogeny of Number One Family Estate in the very sunny Marlborough. Over to you. Hello, hello. Wonderful to see you, Amy. Number One Family Estate is the closest thing that we have to Champagne in New Zealand with your roots tracing back to Champagne in France. Can you please tell us more about Metho Traditionnel? When the wine goes in the bottle, it goes in as a still wine. But with it, we shoot in a very small amount of yeast and we call that the lees. The lees then stays inside of that wine for at least 18 months. What happens with that still wine and that, and that lees or yeast inside the bottle is that the, um, the yeast consumes the sugar in the wine and through that, the bubble is born inside of the bottle. We then need to remove that yeast in order to make the wine clear because the yeast will be sitting on the bottom of the bottle like that and we keep it lying down. So for a couple of reasons, one is that the, the wine gets the most exposure to the most amount of yeast. So it's as, as opposed to sitting on a, on a surface like that, you're not gonna get as much contact. You get a lot of contact when it's lying down. Uh, so to remove that then yeast, um, we need to get it into the neck of the bottle and isolate it because otherwise if it's sitting there and you turn it up that way it goes all soupy. So from this position we then pick it up and put it into riddling racks and over the course of hours and days uh, that position will change from here, here, here. This is many thousands of bottles or hundreds of bottles in a rack at a time and it to end up in this position. It then goes into a disgorging machine which freezes the top of the neck uh, which makes you then safe to be able to pick up the bottle because that yeast is now caught, encapsulated in an ice icicle. So we put that on the disgorging line. The disgorging li line will then flick off what is a crown seal at the top of there, like so, um, and the icicle shoots out and we just fill, refill that with either a dosage or just the same wine again, which is very traditional. The French also do it. We follow what they are doing to the number uh, and then your cork and muesli which is the wire will go on top and that is method traditional one part of it anyway what is your favorite sparkling moment it's usually when we uh, have somebody taste blind um, some of our uh, number one reserve and they quite often it is mistaken for champagne who would you most love to have a glass of bubbles with? There's so much that I've heard in particular about my grandmother Pauline. So that's mum's mum. She was everything really. She was a she was a mum, she was a businesswoman, and she had apparently an incredible wit, you know. She was very, very smart. And on top of all of that, she was incredibly glamorous as well. I've even got a photograph of her actually. So this will give you some idea if you think about all of those things that she was. She also happened to look like this. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, I'd love to have known her. I'd totally have a glass of bubbles with her any day. <laughs> any day you offered that, I'd take it. <laughs> now, some of our audience are going to remember you as Dr. Gabrielle Jacobs from undoubtedly, you know, Kiwi's most favorite TV show, um, Shortland Street. Your day job now seemingly couldn't be more different. It is pretty different really. It's, um, uh, but I think I was really lucky in the fact that I'm able to take meaning from both of them. You know, I'm able to take meaning in the job that I do now by the fact that this is a very long held family history for us. Papa is a 12th generation champagne maker, which will make Remy and, and I as his sidekicks, the 13th generation of winemakers in our family. And I think there's something really to be admired and something pretty spectacular about carrying on what our family have done for hundreds of years, literally hundreds of years. Um, and how much, how much a part of us that is. It's really pretty special. 
that that's really sweet and it's really amazing I guess thank you so much for hanging out with me today if you'd like to check out number one family estates wines head to the link that will be as part of this winetopia lockdown post <laughs>